Memento M. Cristo share the story of Saint Alexis who was the son of a Roman senator, good video everyone. Before starting the story, let's pray in our Father in respect to the saint. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive to those who have offended us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Source. Alexios was the only son of the Roman senator Euphemius. He was born in 350 in Rome. He became heir to a large fortune, although he was raised in Christianity, which was not common for the nobles of the Roman Empire, who persecuted Christians. Since childhood, Alexios was known for his charity, which he expressed to all people without distinction. However, when Alexios was young, his parents arranged a marriage for him, as was customary at the time. Difference Alexios' parents did not know that he intended in his heart to dedicate himself completely to God. So, instead of a wedding night, Saint Alexios had an evening of conversation with his bride. He was also a Christian, from a large family, and it seems that he also had the dream of dedicating himself completely to God. Therefore, they decided not to consummate their marriage in order to obey the call to a life totally dedicated to God. Pilgrim Saint Alexios left all his assets to get closer to God. He walked like a pilgrim passing through countless cities. He eventually reached Edessa, Syria. He stayed there for a while. He went on to live like a gracious beggar, begging near the Basilica of Sao Tome. He gave everything he could as alms to the poor. When he saw the sick lying in the street, his heart was moved with compassion. That's why many miraculous healings took place because of his prayers. Then he started to get famous. Upon realizing this, he left town because he wanted to remain anonymous. Humility and Humility Saint Alexis returned to the life of a pilgrim. I know that being a wanderer this time has caused you a lot of suffering. And the suffering was so great that it even changed its appearance. So he returned to Rome and asked his father's house for help. When he got there, his father didn't recognize him. However, Saint Alexios begged his father, have mercy on this poor man of Jesus Christ and let me stand in a corner of the palace. His father accepted him and ordered him to take the pilgrim to work in the barn. 17 years hiding in his father's house. Saint Alexis worked for 17 years right in his palace. There he was abused by several of his own servants and was unrecognized by his parents. He suffered humiliation, insults and neglect from the servants. Despite this, he never returned. He kept the flame of faith burning and patiently accepted all the insults he suffered. Death After 17 years of living in total ignorance, Saint Alexis felt bad and realized that death was near. However, before dying, he gave the document to a servant who helped him in his last moments. The document revealed his true identity, but the servant only handed it over to Santo Alexo's parents a few days after his death. Santo Alexo died on July 17 and was buried in the servants' cemetery. Excavation When the parents found out the truth about this quiet, peaceful, and gentle servant, they were astonished. They asked the local bishop for permission to dig up the boy's body and bury him in a tomb built by his senator father. After that, the fame of Saint Alexios spread among Christians in Rome and the East, and his cult began to spread. Monuments and Devotion The house of the senator, father of Saint Alexis, was on the hill called Aventino. In 1217, construction began on the site of a church dedicated to São Bonifacio. Digging the foundation, they found the remains of Saint Alexios. 
Therefore, the church built there was dedicated to St. Alexios by order of Pope Honorius III. At the end of the 11th century, Bishop Sergius of Damascus founded the monastery of Santo Alexios in Rome for Greek monks, dedicated to a simple and poor life. In 1817, the Congregation of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary named St. Alexis as the second patron saint for his example of patience, love and humility. Prayer to St. Alexis God, our Father, you are the one who sees everything, hears everything, does everything and creates everything, revealing yourself without showing yourself. Let us follow the example of St. Alexis, let us seek the simplicity of life, because you are simple, indivisible and only the simple can see your unique and true face. Give us justice in word and deed, mercy in receiving, and devotion in serving, for to do so is to receive a blessing. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. St. Alexis, pray for us. On September 4, 1743, a provision was published with the authorization of the then diocesan bishop of Rio de Janeiro authorizing the construction of the chapel of Santo Alexo. This fact marks the official recognition that the lands of the current district of Mage and its inhabitants were entrusted to the protection of Santo Alexo. Because of the legendary nature of his life story, Alexio's name was removed from the general Roman calendar in 1969. His name is in the Roman Martyrology, where on July 17 it is said, in Rome, in a church on the Aventine Hill, a man of God is celebrated under the name of Alexios, who, as tradition relates, abandoned his rich house to become poor and beg unrecognized. Brazil It is the only church that is known, in Brazil, with the devotion and dedicated to Santo Alexo. It was built by José dos Santos Martins, on September 4, 1743, and blessed in April 1747. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like, share this video with 7 more friends, to help the channel reach more people. Thanks.